Ms. Rachel Ong. Mr. Deputy Speaker, over the past four years, I've had the opportunity to serve with an NGO that aims to address the orphan crisis in the Philippines through advocating for adoption and preparing families to receive children through adoption and foster care. Through the work that they do, I've come to understand some of the legal and administrative challenges posed in adoption in their nation's context, especially in ensuring that children are safe and valued. For this reason, I'm encouraged and grateful to note how Singapore's Table Adoption of Children's Bill addresses many of the legal and administrative challenges faced in the adoption process, paving a way for children to be placed in Singapore homes in a manner that is safe, ethical, and brings fulfillment to both children and their adoptive parents. Ultimately, the laws surrounding adoption should exist to find the best family for the child and not the best child for families. The Adoption of Children Bill strikes a good balance in placing safeguards for adopted children to be placed in a healthy family environment, while also reducing obstacles from them being placed in, a, in healthy families sooner. I'm excited at the many lives this bill will change not only for our children and families, but the impact this will have on our community and nation. As we speak of the bill today, may I propose to the House and fellow Singaporeans to respectfully consider adoption as a real and viable option to starting and growing families alongside assisted reproduction schemes. UNICEF estimates 15 million orphans who have lost both parents in the world or double orphans, majority of which are in Asia. However, double orphans are not the only pool of children that need to find a home. We have children whose parents fail to perform parental duties for various reasons, also known as social orphans, many of whom are under state and institutional care. In Singapore alone, there are over a thousand children in state care staying in residential and foster homes, even if not all required adoption. There is no shortage of physical and social orphans locally and overseas who are needing if not longing for healthy families. There's much that can still be done to raise awareness and to open the hearts and minds in Singapore to the idea of adoption. While over 80% of Singaporeans surveyed in 2013 share they are supportive of adoption, the number of adoption applications in Singapore have fluctuated around 380 from 2012 to 2021. And of these adoption applications, fewer than 10 per year are for children under state care. In comparison, the Demand for assisted reproduction technologies or ART procedures has surged, evidenced by a 40% increase in the take up of funding for ART procedures between 2015 and 2019. Such demand has also led to the recent policy changes in assisted reproduction, such as raising the age limit for those undergoing ART pr procedures, as well as increased co funding for such procedures. These measures have been most welcome. Many residents and friends I know are grateful for these changes that support their growing family. However parenthood comes to us, it is a miracle. I sincerely look forward to the day where demand for both ART procedures and adoption will be on par and to see more families embracing adoption as part of starting and building families. Perhaps in the near future, similar assistance used in supporting ART can also be provided to adopting families who pass the Adoption Suitability Assessment. Adoption shows us that we do not have to look like the other person to love them. It expands the social and emotional capacity of a people and society. Love runs much deeper than blood. When a child knows that he or she has been chosen by a family to be loved and is given a safe home and life resources to explore new possibilities, it transforms his or her life in a manner that impacts generations to come. Adopted at the age of 12 after his father passed away, Mr. Nelson Mandela was the first in his family to receive formal education alongside the children of his adoptive father. Because of the education opportunities accorded by his adoptive family, he became politically active during his university years and beyond, and never imagined that he would be responsible in leading a nation out of apartheid, radically changing the lives of South Africans. Closer to home, someone who might have deep respect for chose to adopt her two children, her first a daughter from China and her second a son from a teenager here who decided to release her baby for adoption over abortion. 
Both children are well loved and cared for and have grown to be confident and contributing Singaporeans. As a matter of fact, her son today is a grateful recipient of a scholarship in the vocation of his dream. What a difference adoption has made to the lives of these young people and a joy they have been to their family. Abandonment does not have to be the destiny of orphaned children, but an opportunity for families with emotional and financial capacity to help the children discover their destiny, no matter what age they come into their homes. While children's home could still give them the best quality of life possible, there's so much more a family brings to a child. Studies show that being raised in an institutional environment contrib contributes substantially to the delayed and adverse development of young children. Studies also feature that poor development is not associated with selected gene pool nor adverse pre-institutional experience. But when placed in families, most such children display substantial catch-up growth, beginning soon after adoption across physical, mental and social domains. By placing orphan children in families, we support them to see beyond their circumstances, uplift them to greater things. It does our children courage to pursue all that life has for them and to know that they have a destiny to fulfill. An adopted child once shared, my birth mother brought me into this world, but it was my adoptive parents who gave me life. As a government, I, I believe we can do more to raise awareness, advocate for and support families in adoption. As a nation, I look forward to the day where we will have more families wanting to adopt, waiting to adopt, than children waiting on families, especially for our Singaporean children under state care. With this, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I support this bill.